All right, so I have here um, basically a Groovy script um, that's using Sakuli. Um, normally I don't use Sakuli. It's more of something I just thought, hey, why not do some automation of some applications that don't have an open API? So I thought I'd use Sakuli for that. Um, at work, normally I automate phone calls by doing a... Um, by doing SIP calls from the command line. But here I thought, hey, why not do a SIP call from a SIP client to my local asterisk box? So actually, it's a free switch server. So um, I have a number configured here. And what I'm going to do is try to run xlite, which is over here. It's going to click on the icon, and we're going, so the launch xlite is actually called from this groovy helper file and you can see here's what it's doing it's doing this function creating a new screen and then I'm saying I'm gonna double click this xlite PNG which is actually this image I'm gonna wait for another screen image to appear with a timeout of 10 seconds and then um, after that I'm gonna dial the DNS which is actually doing this method as you can see it's uh, basically typing in the DNS that I'm passing in uh, DNS that I'm passing in <laughs> saying DNS sorry about that passing in the DNS which is basically the phone number um, and then I have two different methods here I turned one off which was playing audio back uh, instead I'm using record call and that method simply says uh, you know, we'll we'll wait a couple seconds, and then we're just basically going to use socks, which is a command line uh, tool to actually record a wave file, and then we'll sleep for five seconds. Back at the script, we're going to call a hangup, and hangup's going to do basically click the hangup button, and then command Q on the Mac here, and that should take care of the application shutting it down. Um, to play audio, I use just another command line. I could use socks to play the audio back, or in this case, AF play on the Mac. Um, that would simulate, you know, you make a phone call, the person answers, and then you play some audio back. But let's go ahead and uh, run this and see how it works, see it in action. Alright, so Sekuli is starting up. It clicked Xlite. It's waiting for Xlite to load. And it types in the DNS. You have reached a voice menu. Dial an extension now. Okay, now it's going to hang up. And what it actually did in this case is over here on the left side, it actually created a recording.wav file of the actual phone call that was made. Um, because that's what I asked it to do. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool that you can do this. I can actually do this without Sakuli, just using SIPP to make uh, command line calls. Um, this might be a little more robust with some other applications like automating Flash or, um, you know, something like, like an application completely closed like SketchUp or Photoshop. Um, tools like that that you just can't really easily automate. Um, you know, Sakuli seems like a pretty cool idea, especially wet, uh, game automation seems pretty useful. Um, this was just a quick test to see how this would work. This automation, of course, would lend itself to it being run on a desktop, which isn't the best uh, ideal place to run automation. It would be better on a VM someplace, but then you really couldn't do this. So, well, maybe you could. I don't know. But it's um, pretty cool. Anyway, that's it.